Hello friends, uh, today I will discuss about the findings of a recent study where they looked at the incidence of cardiac arrest uh, during uh, long distance running events. So this was a study done in the US and they have analyzed the data right from 2000 uh, up to you know until recently and they classified the whole period into two, uh, two durations. One is from 2000 to 2009 and the second period is 2010 onwards. So, you know, if you look at some of the recent newspapers or media news, it would seem that the cardiac arrest uh, during uh, marathon or long distance running events have increased. But uh, in this study, what they found is that there has been no change. So, in the period from 2000, 2009 and 2010 onwards, in both the periods, it was around 0.6 per 100,000 uh, runners. So, roughly it comes to about one uh, cardiac arrest out of 200,000 or 2 lakh uh, runners. And then the second thing they looked at is uh, what kind of uh, events uh, it was more common. So as you would expect, the incidence of uh, cardiac arrest was more common during marathons as compared to half marathons. And uh, it was roughly about say 1 per 100,000 in marathon events and about uh, 0.47. So that is roughly about ha half of uh, you know marathon was during half marathons. Other thing they looked at is gender differences and as you would expect, it was much more common among men. So it was 1.1 1 .1 per 100,000 uh, runners among men and it was only 0 0.2 uh, per 100,000 runners among women. So roughly about 5 to 6 times more common among men runners or male runners. And, uh, so, and then they looked at the causes, uh, what was the underlying cause. So roughly about half the runners, they had uh, definitive testings or investigations done to find the cause of cardiac arrest and coronary artery disease was the commonest underlying cause and not the HOCM or hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy and uh, other important thing and very uh, you know nice finding what they had was the deaths due to cardiac arrest it reduced by half in the period from 2010 onwards as compared to 2000 2009 so and the death rate was about 0.4 per 100000 before 2010 and that reduced to 0 0.2 uh, per 100,000 runners after 2010. And they concluded that it was mainly because of uh, cardiac CPR. It was one video of CPR was shown to all the runners. So most of the cardiac arrest uh, that happened during the running events, they received CPR and also defibrillation uh, was provided at appropriate places. So use of uh, defib devices also was much more common during this uh, period. So in conclusion, uh, what I would like to say is that uh, cardiac arrest is definitely not so common among runners and it is uh, runners have a much lower incidence of cardiac arrest.